Oprah Winfrey has become far more than a talk show host over the years, having run food businesses, a magazine, produced TV shows and films and even received Oscar nominations for her acting. It was through one of these projects that she met the king of pop Michael Jackson to conduct an interview. On February 10, 1993, Jackson invited journalist, Oprah Winfrey into his home at Neverland Valley Ranch for an interview. This was the big moment where he was expected to finally open up about his private life. While this may seem par for the course for a TV talk show host, this was a huge deal, as previous to that Michael had not done any TV interviews for 14 years. Oprah Winfrey has had some intensely famous people sit opposite her in interviews over the years, but when it came to the King of Pop, it would be a television event. One of the most watched TV events in history, with 90 million people tuning in to watch. During the interview, Jackson talked about some of his childhood traumas and addressed some tabloid stories. Jackson denied tabloid rumors that he had bought the bones of the elephant man, slept in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber, or bleached his skin, and stated for the first time that he had vitiligo. Winfrey asked Michael if he was a virgin or not. In the theater, Michael exclusively showed Oprah how he performed his moonwalk. Jackson also beatboxed and sang his new hit single, Who Is It? Oprah asked Michael if he believed in higher power and he answered with, Are you very spiritual? In what sense? I mean, do you, do you meditate? Do you understand that there is something bigger than yourself at work here? I believe in God, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very much. Oprah concluded the interview asking what Michael would want to be known for. He responded by simply saying, Be loved. I just simply want to be loved wherever I go, all over the world, because I love people of all races, from my heart, with true affection. Mm. The two's lives would be intertwined, through various people in Jackson's lives being interviewed by the journalist. People including his sisters, ex-wife, Lisa Marie Presley, and mother. Following the release of the 2003 Living with Michael Jackson interview, Oprah would conduct an audience interview discussing the issues with the documentary. She would go on to say, But imagine this, this is what I thought the first time I saw it, is that if you spent your whole life since you were six or seven years old, in this fame chamber. It's a, really like a fame chamber. And everybody that you know, uh, in his case, you're surrounded by everybody that you know other than your immediate family, are people that you pay. After his death in 2009, she would conduct interviews with Kenny Ortega on Michael Jackson's final days preparing for This Is It. She would also give an interview with the Casio family on their relationship with Jackson and the creation of the now infamous Michael album. It would not be till 10 years later, that she would conduct an interview Jackson accusers as a part of the HBO Leaving Neverland documentary to much fan dismay.